Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So video 65, which is uh, in theory, uh, assuming my timelines all work correctly, uh, will be the first kind of uh, video, if you like, that gets us back into the introduction of x rays Forensics and the functionality that I try and demonstrate. There's a, uh, gonna be a couple in this little series of uh, file data comparisons, uh, but this first one is gonna be a really simple demonstration of text data where it, you may have two text files, maybe large files, and you're not entirely sure where the differences are. Obviously, text editors themselves come with the functionality to find this kind of thing. But this is a really quick way of basically choosing two text files, which you may know, for, for, for example, by hashing them, um, you may know that they're actually different, but you don't actually know where the differences are. So I've got two files here, which are called make file good and make file bad. And obviously neither of them are actually make files. I've just called them that for, um, uh, for various reasons. So if I choose the first one first, which as you can see, it's just says just a wannabe make file with no useful make file data in it. If I then choose the second file, which is bad, uh, you will see that there's a few differences that are easy to see by eye. For example, I've converted the E there to a three. So what I can do using the uh, this particular function of XOS Forensics is choose those two data sources. When I'm not in a case, I can choose to output the data to a file somewhere. When I'm in a case, I can click this button and it will add the differences as search hits. I can choose the start offset um, for each of your two data sources. And the bytes region may be blank by default and usually is. Uh, once you've run it once over some data, it will remember that previous value and put it in there by default. But when it's empty like thus, when you click OK, it will actually work out how many bytes it needs to compare. Um, I assume by looking at the largest of the two data sources. I don't I don't exactly know how it computes that, but if they're both the same size, then it obviously it, it knows and you can see the file size over here. Uh, on the right hand side of x -Ways Forensics. So if I click OK to that now, uh, it will tell me that there's some differences and it will show me the differences. It gives me obviously the two files that were compared and their sizes, and then it shows the offsets in hexadecimal. So at offset 13 or 13 rather and offset 22, it's telling me the value that it expects to find, uh, which is 46 and the value that it's actually find found which is 66 and the, in this case there are two particular differences so if i just go to the file here oops uh, you'll see that there's a difference there uh, in terms of the three and also the case sensitivity of f there which in the uh, in the good version is uppercase f and in the bad version it's lowercase f and in the bad version, the E is a three, and in the good version, the E is an E. And it shows you, obviously, the, the, the hex value. And so the, this example almost seems largely pointless because it's only a very small amount of text. It's easy to see the differences by eye. But with much uh, larger files where there's lots of information, it might be harder to, to find that particular information, particularly if, if you're dealing with, for example, enormous you know, hash lists and things like that that could be gigabyte text files um, and you, you think or suspect that something might be wrong with them. Uh, just knowing that they're different by hash analysis doesn't tell you where or why they're different. So I hope that's useful to you. Um, in the next video, I'm hoping to do something similar but with um, you know larger kind of almost binary type data like forensic images, zip files, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.